India's Ransomboar Reserve in Rajasthan is home to the rare Bengal tigers. Every year, John Isaac, an Indian-born photographer, travels from New York City to document the lives of these majestic animals. In the last 10 years, I think, my interest has grown tenfold, and I'm very particular about the survival of the tigers. His goal is to make sure that people everywhere know about the grave danger Bengal tigers face, extinction. John holds seminars and photographic exhibitions from his visits to Ranthambor to raise awareness of the plight of these tigers. He's currently working on a book to document their dilemma due to an increasing human population encroaching on their territory. According to John and wildlife experts, each tiger needs as much as nine square kilometers to survive, just under four square miles. The relationship between tigers and people has always been difficult, but now, with much less territory to roam, tigers often wander into human settlements. The conflict between the villagers and the tigers has always been there. And then uh, government tries to compensate if a tiger kills a goat or a, sh a cow, you know, they pay a certain amount to the villagers. In the past, tigers used migration corridors or routes followed by wildlife for travel between summer and winter habitats. Now these pathways have been taken over by people who use them as living quarters and to reap firewood. Uh, we are trying to work with the communities living around and trying to reduce their forest dependency so that we can uh, conserve this uh, corridor patch for the a smooth and easy movement of tigers. Jamuna Devi, a farmer, lives near one of the migratory corridors. She used to depend on the forest for grazing pastures. Now, thanks to a World Wildlife Fund initiative, Jamuna no longer needs to rely on the forest for her family's survival. The secret? Introducing new alternative crops closer to her home. <laughs> The success of this project has led to even more changes. Jamuna decided to plant fodder for her cattle on her excess land to further preserve the habitat of the tigers. She has also switched to cooking gas so that she doesn't have to collect forest wood for fuel. Climate change also has a direct impact on the habitat of tigers. The last two or three years, they say, there's been a drought. The rains have not been regular. Climate change is a serious uh, problem in this country, even it's in, a, in the continent. So keeping these forest areas alive and protected is the only solution. Uh, this year, we have raised a nursery of 10,000 uh, saplings. Forest department have shown their interest. They bought around 2,000, 3,000 saplings. The idea is to plant new trees to replace those lost to severe weather conditions and human activity. Poaching used to be a major threat to Bengal tigers. But thankfully, the number of big cats killed by poachers has plummeted due to measures implemented by law enforcement agencies resulting in less demand for tiger products. 
especially the introduction of camera traps and digital apps, which automatically take photos of moving tigers and suspicious persons moving around in the forest. Every time I hear something like that, I feel so good, you know, in some ways, some things are working, and so this is what drives me to come and do this. Uh, in my lifetime, if the tigers uh, are extinct, uh, I don't know how I'll handle that. This report was produced by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.